been a minute. I hope y'all can hear me. It's been too long. I gotta hold my phone like this because it's on the charger. So I can't set it down to make it, you know what I'm saying? I gotta do it this way and I don't, I don't think I'm covering the speakers, I don't think. Listen, I'm in the hotel room, I'm in New York, fresh off the homecoming. I saw it live, I told ya I was going live. I told ya I was going to see it. I had to be there. I was there, my first URL experience. I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna do a whole blog about that, separate. What I wanna talk about is these battles. Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook. Oh my god. Oh my god. I ain't gonna try to keep that too long. Oh my god. <clears throat> this lighting is beautiful. I need this home. Mook, I'm sorry. The dudes I was going back and forth with in the line waiting. How they was defending Mook and I couldn't understand. I'm sorry. Big tall Dude on the left of me, told I told him, I said, Geechee about to pack him up 30, easy body. I'm sorry. Couldn't believe what I saw. This is the best murder mook I've ever seen in my life. This is the best murder mook I've ever seen in my life. I can't, there's no murder mook better than this murder mook, in my opinion. I'm not a fan of this man at all. I think he's overrated. I think he's terrible. All of the above. This man showed up, showed out, and proved me wrong. And I'm sitting there, I'm not even mad in the crowd. I'm, I'm in disbelief, but I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, damn. You ever been proven wrong, but you okay with that? I was so okay with it. It was amazing. He he did well. Now, Geechee did good. Geechee did good. He had some stumbles, like, in his first round. And he had him in his third round. Pretty much had him all three rounds, for real. They weren't, like, stumbles where you're going to boom, but you could see, like, he's slipping up on his words, which is fine. So when you have that going against a clean round, like someone just getting through their material without any problems at all, not to mention Haymaker after Hey Yo. Let's do it like this. First round, Geechee goes first. He has this good solid round, like a good like seven and a half, eight out of 10 round. Um, he, he talked about the typical Geechee stuff, but it was nice, it was, it was good. He dealt with a little bit of heckling, you know, New York. Murder Mook is the king of battle rap in New York. So, you know, but he had a good, he has a good fan base in New York. So he did well. Mook goes. I ain't gonna front. I was on Mook Hills the minute he said, yo. I'm like, man, that's an ass. Listen to him. So when he said his first two lines, they were like, they were nothing. No haymakers, no nothing. I'm looking around like, man. About to kill all oh, this boring shit. Then he had a haymaker with about the crowd. So like the first round was pretty much about the crowd. He said, "No." He said, "He said I wanted to kill you when you first came, not cause of not cause of how you rap, but I wanted to kill you because you're you're from the city that killed Biggie. Oh my God." Lost our fucking minds. I'm like, oh shit, all right. That's cool, one line, fire. All right, what else? Then he had, he had, oh my God. <laughs> he had some shit with Pop Smoke. He said, what did he say? He said, he had something about, we ain't gonna rock out for p and B rock. You think we ain't gonna pop smoke for pop smoke? Then he went to, welcome to the party. He had a, then he had a flow like that. Oh my God, welcome to the party. He dancing, doing this shit. Oh man, it wasn't even done. Then he came back with it. And he had, um, the, oh, he said, oh my God. First round clear. The second round was very close. Second round was very close. This was Geechee's best round. And it was real good round. Um, the only thing with Geechee, like he don't say nothing like, his last few battles for real, he'll be saying nothing like that's that memorable. You know, and I think it's because he's just on this high pedestal that we got him on. That it's gotta be something crazy. But he he, I, he definitely has some shit that made me like, oh, they made me like turn around or make a face or react or whatever. I just honestly I just can't think of what they what they what they are right now. I'm sorry. Um But it was a good round, it was better than the first round. Where Moot go and I'm like, I don't know if he's gonna beat this, he beat it. He beat that round. He beat that round. He has some shit about the tree. 
And we tired of hearing about the Geechee Gotti in the tree, but how Murder Moot did it though? It's fire. It's fire. He said, you left, you left, you left hand, like it's all right. What the fuck? You left hand, like it's like it's all right. Come on, man. Murder Moot. Murder Moot, Murder Moot. That's 2 0. Geechee Gotti had some rebuttals, that was cool. Yeah, he had a nice rebuttal. What'd he say? Oh, God, I can't remember what the fuck he said, bro. Geechee had a fire third round. He had a, a rebuttal in second and third, but the third round one was wild. I did can't remember what it was, though, for real. Um, they tried to freestyle a little bit at the end. There was some heckling, but it was more so like a playful heck, heckle. Like, it wasn't like they, like, we, we on some hate Gotti shit. We ain't show him no love at all. You know, if it's fire, we're going to give it up. But if it's not, you know, but they was like, they was showing love. It was just like some playful shit for real. Um, Murder Moot goes, and he, he went at the nails. He went at her bad. He said she a snake. He said she can't, she couldn't fuck Smack, so she fucked Beasley. Um, yeah, he had some past day references in there. So you definitely gonna get some love for that. Gichigari had a takeoff reference in his second, I think, that crowd wasn't really feeling, but he was basically like, trying to make it a setup to his, his ending bar, which they, they, they was cool with that. Um, but yeah, man, Mook was on one. This this was, in my opinion, his, his best performance. I don't think, I've, I've never seen him like this before, ever. 3-0. Yeah, I guess you call it gentlemen's, you can, but like, I, I'm not debating nothing. I'm, a, I'm definitely watching it again, though. This battle is fire on both sides. I like it. I'm going to watch it again. Um, what else I want to talk about? Let's talk about Jazz and Vixen. I try to tell y'all. I try to tell y'all Jazz is really her. She's really the queen of this. You ain't no female battle rap unless Jazz is in it. And that's what it is. First round was stupid. Jazz's first round was dumb long. <laughs> she was rapping forever, but it was a really good round. Vixen came back and matched that. It's tough to um, it's tough to say who got that first round. Vixen might have got it. Jazz might have got it. For Vixen's sake, though, I must give it to Vixen because Jazz clearly got rounds two and three. Packed her up. Um, but to say for Vixen, though, she did have to get through some tough heckling. Not heckling, but a lot of crowd chatter. Bro, because uh, well, for two things. One, um, Jazz broke down Vixen's style, how she rap, how she delivers. Said she stole her style from twerp. She did it. She 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 um mimicked it. And like when you, when, whenever that happens, like the next few rounds after that for that opponent is gonna be bad. Not bad, but like it's gonna be hard to overcome that, right? So Hollow did it to Clips. It was hard for him to overcome that. Clips did it to twerp. Clips did it to twerk. It was hard for him to overcome that. Anytime like that really be happening like that, like Briz did it to Mr. Wavy. So. She did that. You could just feel like when it was time for Vixen to go in the second round, like the, the room was, the, 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 the momentum was so shifted on Jazz's side. You can hear people in the crowd like, yo, she ain't, uh, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing with this round. You know what I'm saying? Like just already like giving it up. And it's true. There's certain rounds like that that are just godly. You can't do nothing about it unless you love it. Like for real, for real, you gotta have a godly round too. You gotta like rebuttal all of that shit. She ain't do none of that. She like and so it was that. But then it was also um, there was a problem on the balcony. I don't know what happened. There was a problem up there. At least when he fell out too um in the general, general admission area, and I think there was a fight in the back or something too. It was mad shit going on while Vixen was rapping. So, you know, the crowd was like, I I know for sure. I'm looking over there. There's some commotion over there. You know, and then there's 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 this is things all over the place. So, but but also though for real. I don't think it matters. I really don't because I can still hear the material and it just wasn't matched up to the first. Not to mention Jazz just, just took it. Third round. It was clear again. And uh, I'm trying to think what Jazz said in the third that really like stuck out to me. She had mad shit. For real. Like Jazz is really her. And I don't see nobody beating her. Like no female. Like I thought if any female possibly could for real, it would be Vixen. She has everything. Aggression, bar, she look good, she look better than jazz, stage performer, stage presence, all of that. I'm thinking, yo, she gone. If anybody can, it's her. She got clipped. Vixen Thorough was it was again, it was cool. It was just a lot going on. It was better in a second, I say that it was. But just not enough, not even close. 
And um, that was it. That was it. Any other battle I really want to talk about? Um, Kid Slave or Stumbles? I'm just talking that right quick. Kid Slave, really him. Kid Slave, really him. He's the next star. He won this battle 3 0. It might have been a body for real. And that's not to say that Stumbles is bad because he wasn't. Stumbles was good. Stumbles had a good first, like, first half of his first round was really good. Then he stumbled, but he brought it back like he meant to do it. But the crowd, to me, it, it looked like he really stumbled. And the crowd, it looked like that too. But as he, the way he caught it, though, I'm like, nah, maybe he meant to do that. But I'm going to say he, I'm gonna say he stumbled on that. But Piper Boy Williams is saying that Stumble said that he, he did that on purpose. I don't know. His first round was good, though. Fucking allergies. Fucking my nose up. Allergies. His, his, uh, his first round was good. But Slave first round was crazy. Fuck. Slave first round was crazy. It was stupid. My fault, y'all. Yeah. Uh, he had mad shit he had to bring back. Slave really talked that talk for real. You just feel it. Like, oh my God, bro. And when you in, you in New York, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of drug dealers in the building. They know what the fuck going on. So you just feel that shit, man. Slave clear first round. Stumble second round or third round wasn't as good as his first. They were cool, but not not nearly enough. So he got he got swept up, bro, for real. He got swept up and it is what it is. Slade is him. He's the next one. He has everything. All the intangibles. I don't gonna battle next because Calico would be nice. Easy to block cap to be nice. I think T Top is him though. I think that next battle should happen. Kid Slade was T Top, I think is perfect. Especially because like T Top's kinda on a decline, so like why he's still not fully on the decline, like, get him right here. I think that's a good test for Kiss Lake. Um, and Stumbles, you could tell, it may be because he's still new. So he's kind of, like, in that fresh area. Like, we'll give him some some wiggle room, you know. So, like, you could mess up or you could have a decent performance. We'll look at it like, okay, either that or he been doing so bad to start his career that his last few battles has been way better than that. So... Anything better than what, than what you started, we're going to just accept that. You could you could say that, too. Um, but you could tell, though, that he's still in a good grace period. So, you know, he lost his battle. Clear, you could still tell that it ain't over for him. You know what I'm saying? He might not see a, a big stage like this again in a while, but he ain't done. He might get, like, a, a, a Civil War or a, a, a I think it was another one of those mid-cards. Um, I won't say bang because those would be surprises, but... You know, something mid. It ain't, ain't going to be no, no bottom shit like uh, like uh, Ascension. <laughs> but it's going to be some mid shit like Civil War. You can see him doing so. Um, traffic. Shit like that. And um, that's it. Everything else I want to talk about, bro. Oh, K-Shawn and, um, and Jack Boy Main didn't happen. I don't know exactly what happened. Beasley came out. You know, when Beasley come out, it's all bad news. He brought his bald head ass out there. He's like, yo, it ain't going down. We saw Kayshawn. We didn't see Jack. He said that Jack was there and Jack was ready to battle. Kayshawn was there. We saw him. He came on stage. He was ready to battle. But um, he said that there was some medical issue. Like somebody dealing with something medical, medically. And we all thinking like, yo, Jack. Because, you know, he, he, he deals with, um, oh, what does Jack suffer from? I did ask him from remember right now. But from something. But he said that he's ready to go. I feel like. If Jack wasn't ready to go, like if Jack was sick, like nah, Jack is sick right now. He's here. He's trying to rap, but he can't. He's. I think we'd have understood that. I don't think they like swept that under the rug, like to try and protect Jack. I think he really couldn't go. I mean, I think he really could have went if he if if it was up to him. But I think something completely separate happened um, that prevented that. Um, so they said they're gonna reschedule that. I don't know when. I don't, I don't know. In case this is supposed to be case on last year about battle. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. I don't. Um, I also want to talk about right quick. I stayed after I jumped in the Piper Boy where he was live. So if y'all see his live and he, he like he saw about the murder mook and get you out of battle. And him talking to somebody on the on the on the, the sidewalk, that was me. Come around the corner, bump into this thing. What the fuck are you doing? And I, and I walked past him at first. Like, nah, let me fuck his live up right quick. Piper Boy, what you doing? Look crazy. Um that's it. Yeah, I want to talk about the experience overall. You know, this is my first one. I've been hearing a lot of talks about going to these types of battles, these, these, types of, these types of events, and, like, 
what to expect and things like that. What I saw, like, I want to talk about that. That's in another blog. It's 15 fucking minutes. I'm hungry. I'm going to order some food. And while that food coming, I'm going to let this thing charge. And I'm going to um, I'm gonna do that blog too. I'm going to upload this, though. That's it, y'all. It's been a minute. I'm back home doing a lot of bunch of movies. So I don't know how much I'm going to be on this cam like that. I've been out of two in battle rap for real. I ain't seen a lot of battles in a minute. New battles or nothing. So I'm out of tune, but I'm trying to get back in it. All of that. Peace.